Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to safely observe the sun using your F760 telescope and of course, with a solar filter. Without any further ado, let's get started. And here's my F760 telescope and the solar filter right here, which is the Celestron Eclipse Smart Solar Filter. And before we start our observation, uh, I'm going to discuss what is a solar filter. What is a solar filter? A solar filter is an essential tool used to observe or view the sun safely, filtering out ultraviolet and infrared light and 99.999% of intense visible light. Telescopes, binoculars, and cameras need solar filters for two reasons. To protect them from intense sunlight, and to ensure that they don't accidentally look at the sun through an unfiltered instrument. Now let's unbox the Eclipse Smart Solar Filter. And here's the paperwork. Solar Warning even though your Eclipse Smart Solar Filter is equipped with ISO certified material that allows safe direct observation of the sun, there's still some important rules you should follow when solar observing. Never look directly at the sun with a naked eye or with a telescope unless you have the proper solar filter. Permanent and irreversible eye damage may result. Never use a telescope to project an image of the sun onto any surface. Internal heat buildup can damage the telescope and any accessories attached to it. Never use an IP solar filter or a Herschel wedge. Internal heat buildup inside a telescope can cause these devices to crack or break, allowing unfiltered sunlight to pass through to the eye. Do not leave the telescope unsupervised, especially when children or adults unfamiliar with the correct operating procedures of your telescope are present. Now let's move on to the actual solar filter and let me remove the bubble wrap. This is what the solar filter looks like at the back. Now at the front, let me remove the cap or the cover. And there's the filter. It is where the sunlight goes through and gets filtered out. So that's for the solar filter. Unfortunately, when I went outside, it is raining. So the plan is cancelled. And I'll try to view the sun tomorrow, hopefully, when the weather is good. So see you next time. day two and as you can see it is still raining so let's check out for the other day or tomorrow hopefully see you soon after three days finally we now have the sun and it is still cloudy but it will be fine now i'm going to place my telescope and then what do we need to do is we need to remove the cover and we're going to place the solar filter. Now put the filter in this position and then you can tighten it up by twisting the screws or the knobs. Make sure that the solar filter is tight enough so that it won't fall off when there's a strong wind or something like that so once you have tightened the solar filter you can also uh, remove the reddit finder or your finder scope so that it won't be exposed to the sun for long periods of time so i suggest to remove it if you don't want to remove your finder scope or your reddit finder you can just uh, cover it up and make sure that it won't get exposed to protect it from the heat and now I'm going to remove my red dot finder just twist the screws counterclockwise 
so that you can loosen it up once you remove the screws you can now remove the red dot finder and now we're good to go since we have the solar filter on and we already removed the finder scope or the red dot finder the next step is to point the telescope towards the sun and you don't actually have to look through the eyepiece one of the best way to point the telescope to the sun is to use the shadow of the ground now i'm going to place a paper so you guys can see right there so we can aim the telescope i'm going to loosen up the knob and then try to lift your telescope until the shadow is round let me move the paper and point the telescope again. Make sure the, the tube is not elongated, it's more like round, not like this. It's more like this. Hope you can see that. Now I'm going to lock the telescope. And it should look like that. And there you go we can start observing the sun and i'm going to show you some clips of what you guys can see with a telescope with this telescope with a solar filter if you guys can still see the sun even the tube is round in the shadow um, what you're going to do is to perform a minor adjustment you can twist this so that it can, the telescope can maneuver itself up and down so that's pretty much it. Due to cloudy skies, I used the old clip of mine showing the sun with sunspots through the telescope with solar filter. The clip was taken on August 29, 2021 at 9.15 a.m. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching as always. Stay tuned for more videos. Give a like and subscribe to my channel if this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just comment it down below. See you next time. Peace.